Let's make a wish. The slime people! Diana, there's something seriously weird going on. No kidding. Why would Java want to borrow my complete works of Shakespeare? Hello? Focus, Diana. I'm talking about my socks. They're disappearing quicker than the Amazon rainforest. I'm down to my last one. Hmm. Get a grip, Martin. Everybody loses a sock in the laundry every once in a while. Of course, only you can lose all of yours. Ah, uh, one flaw in your theory, sis. I don't do laundry. Maybe they're being devoured by cannibalistic sock gnomes. This could be the start of a whole sock gnome invasion. No worries. If they're eating your socks, the indigestion alone will defeat them. Me love you. Love you too. Huh? Okay. Either I'm hearing things or Java has a girlfriend. No way. Even I don't have a girlfriend. Me love you. <gasps> so that's why he's suddenly interested in Shakespeare. He wanted to brush up on his sweet talk to impress a girl. <gasps> yeah, well, whoever she is, she better be homely and real hairy, or I'm gonna lose all hope. <sighs> Here's that book you wanted, you silver-tongued caveman. Okay, Java, where is she? She who? Nobody here but Java. Uh-huh, you better punch some air holes in that thing, buddy. <laughs> the center. I realize cavemen aren't known for treating women as equals, but this is crossing the line. <gasps> Long mystery. Clear. Diana Longmore. Clear. Java the Caveman. Clear. Yo, B, what up? Oh, remind me to high-five you later, Martin. Mom said not to dawdle. She's having a really busy day. I've heard of people being phobic about rodents, but I'd always thought you were a little bit tougher than that. Careful, it's a bit nippy. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing that's not a hamster. Ah, it's a glomer beast. The tranquilizer will keep it in suspended animation until it can be deported back to its home planet. There's no telling how many have infiltrated pet shops all over the Earth. All right, I love cruising pet shops. Uh, do I get my own tranquilizer? No, that's not your mission, Martin. I want your team to investigate a ghost town near Great Salt Lake, Utah called Bridger's Gap. Population currently zero, but at one time it was a bustling town of, uh, 34. Hmm, not exactly party central. Yeah, uh, how about something a bit more exciting? Ooh, with lasers. I think we should look into this sock-eating gnome invasion force that's... <gasps> uh-huh, right. Code ran at the alien detention facility. They're undergoing a hamster population explosion. Billy will show you to the door. Ah, uh, ghost town? Been there, done that. Aha, uh -huh, but this one has a twist. Up until two days ago, Bridger's Gap wasn't a ghost town. You mean the whole town suddenly just disappeared? Huh. Martin, I managed to get a look in Java's footlocker. There was no one in there, just a bunch of clothes and stuff. Poor Java was talking to himself in a girl's voice. Oh man, the poor guy. And I thought I was desperate for a date. He's gone loco. We know, 
buddy. Uh, but don't let it get you down. Hey, we all get a little lonely once in a while. Not Java lonely, town lonely. The poor huh? guy's in total denial. Mm, it's quiet. Too quiet. Yeah, usually there's at least crickets. Hmm? Huh? First. Hmm, looks like someone disappeared right in the middle of loading their groceries. But who or what could be responsible for a whole town suddenly going missing? Java don't know. Martin, why are you so quiet? Normally you'd have about 20 theories by now. Uh... Martin! Martin disappeared! Freaky! Oh. Uh... Huh. Huh? Martin, okay! Oh, he almost gave me a heart attack! Wait till you see this! I almost hurled! Melted banana split? I was expecting some nasty slime or something. I wish. It'd be less disgusting than rotten bananas. Hmm. Huh. No looting or signs of a struggle. Wherever these people went, they went all at once. And all of a sudden. Java hear something. Hmm. Maybe they've been carried off by a demonic dust devil! A demonic dust devil? The guy can dream, can he? Gross! All right! It's probably some sort of ectoplasm that will indicate a demonic manifestation. Keyword activated. Slime scan selected. With any luck, the town is built on an ancient native burial site, and an army of ghostly warriors has finally risen up to take back their sacred hunting grounds. General classification, fungus. <laughs> More like an army of slimy mushrooms. What a bust. Okay, people don't just vanish into thin air. Let's try a bioscan. Bioscan selected. Scanning radius 20 kilometers. One proto-human. Just you, huh. me, and the caveman. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Whatever's in there, it's not human. Oh. <gasps> hey, what will you have? Oh, cheeseburger. Oh, the U watch mm. must be busted. And how much you want to bet the warranty expired yesterday? Hmm. Uh huh? Uh, hello, I'm Diana, and this is. Hey, what will you have? Cheeseburger? Uh, no, nothing for me, thanks. You see, we're wondering what happened to all the. <gasps> Would you quit that? I have a good excuse this time. Look! the center made a mistake? Everything seems fine here. Yeah, except they don't know how to curb their dogs in this town. Hmm. Uh, excuse me. Nice day, isn't it? Yes, well, night, actually. But I was wondering if you could tell me where you've been. Nice day, isn't it? Huh. Oh, look at that, and I got it all over my last good sock, too. Wait a sec. This is the same fungus stuff I stepped in before. Hey, what will you have? Huh? 
cheeseburger. Everybody in town is totally spaced out. Oh, maybe they've just been wandering around lost for the last couple of days. Huh. We better check this out. this before. This has been really bugging me. Nope. There are zero entries for sock-eating gnomes. Sock-eating gnomes? Uh, forget about your stupid socks. I thought you were running a search on Bridger's Gap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea, too. Hmm. There's one hit, uh, but it's an old entry. A UFO sighting in the late 50s. Investigated and found to be a routine meteorite. That slime pit looked like a crater. It must be where the meteor landed. But where'd all that gooey slime come from? I'll bet it hitchhiked here on that meteorite. It's some kind of space slime. But what's it doing to these people? And what took it so long? It landed almost 50 years ago. Well, we could ask them, but they're not talking. Nice try, ah! isn't it? Ah! Hey, what will you have? Okay, slowly back away. Don't make any sudden movements. Uh, 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 Java hungry. I hear you, pal, but this is no time to... Uh-oh. Maybe this isn't our Java. He's one of them! <laughs> nice day, isn't it? Hey, what will you have? That's why nothing registered on the bioscan. These aren't humans, they're walking slime balls. Nice day, isn't it? Hey, what will you have? Okay, 
Okay. Apparently, conventional weapons aren't gonna work in this instance. Ah! Martin, help! Diana! the whole lake, just to be on the safe side. The citizens of Bridger's Gap have been restored, none the worse for wear. It seems their slime replicants were fungal spores. So the alien was going to spread itself by mimicking human beings. Apparently, it was a slow-growing life form. It took 50 years to grow to the point where it was large enough to self-reproduce. And it took two seconds for us to destroy it. We rock. Agent Mystery, why are you only wearing one sock? Uh, it's a long story, and hopefully one that'll end in a hail of laser fire and sizzling sock gnomes. Huh? <laughs> I can't believe Mom didn't want to get to the bottom of the mystery of the missing socks. Gee, imagine that. Well, if I have to go it alone without backup, then that's what I'll do. I love huh? You. Huh? Me no 
That's Java. And now he's talking to himself in public. Well, we better get him out of here before he totally embarrasses himself. <laughs> oh, Romeo, Romeo, no, leave me. Me no live without Juliet. Me no live too. <laughs> Talk about your far-fetched theories. Even I wouldn't have guessed it was a caveman doing Shakespeare with sock puppets. I don't understand. It should be right here. Well, maybe it doesn't exist after all. <laughs> the Lost Tribe! this, Jenny. I mean, what's wrong with my natural color anyway? Trust me, Dee, you need a hair makeover. And a bold <laughs> auburn is just the thing to spice up your look. When I'm done with you, you'll be a boy magnet for sure. <laughs> the moment of truth. Okay, here goes nothing. That's what I call a seriously bad hair day. <laughs> it's not bad, it's uh, unpredictable. Just the thing to spice up Di's boring life. <sighs> oh, okay, I've got a dash. I'm late for my aquatic yoga aerobics lesson. See ya. Uh, Jenny said I would be a boy magnet. More like boy repellent. You should know better than to let someone who does aquatic yoga aerobics mess with your uh, hair. Oh, oh <gasps> great, she even got hair dye on my scalp. <gasps> the center, I think it's coming from your closet. Uh, Java, my main man. What are you doing in Diana's closet? Java like playing dress up. Hmm, not a bad idea. I'm gonna need that, Jav. Where Diana hair go? Uh, it's a long story. Huh? Now come on, duty calls. <laughs> you too, cue ball. Warm ah! mystery cleared. Java the caveman cleared. Diana Lombard. Hmm. It's me, Diana. Honest. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Cleared. Uh, hey, guys. Hey, hey Billy. Billy. Huh. Well, aren't you looking fashionable today, Diana? Uh, Diana no fashionable. <laughs> Diana bald. What Java's trying to tell you is that Diana's keeping something under her hat. Okay, go on, Di, show him. Really? You think so? Uh, yes. In fact, you remind me of a female non-Earthling I used to date back on my home planet. 
Oh, great. Just what I always wanted, to attract aliens. Well, at least you can say you've achieved becoming an alien boy magnet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. I know, I'm hideous. Hmm. Teenage hair experimentation 101? Big time. Can you help me, Mom? Hmm, let's see. Of course, I've <laughs> just the thing. Uh, thanks, Mom, but with all due respect, I don't see how this ugly necklace will help me. You've just answered your question. Because it's so tacky, it'll draw attention away from your bald head. They'll be looking at that gross thing <laughs> instead of you. In the meantime, I'll work on something that can restore your hair. Now, on to more pressing issues. Yesterday, two of our agents went missing while searching for the lost city of Alpha Omega. Hey, I've heard of that place. Anyone who's ever tried to find it has vanished, just like the Bermuda Triangle. Oh man, this case is gonna be sweet. Oh please, Alpha Omega is about as real as the lost city of Atlantis. <laughs> There's no proof that it exists. Sometimes things just defy explanation, Di. Kinda like that hairdo of yours. Either way, we're picking up a weak signal from the missing agents you watch. So wherever they are, we need you to find them. Billy? This way, dudes. <laughs> One good thing about going to Molly, no one there knows me. Oh, talk about a headache. This is ridiculous. What's the problem, Di? Oh, the sun's seriously burning my head. And I'm doubting we're gonna run into a sunblock hut anytime soon. Java hot, too. Very hairy. Well, you can both relax. According to my U watch, we're right in the area. Check it out! An Ultra U watch from the center. Oh, this thing is way more advanced than mine. Obviously, it belongs to one of the missing agents. Only, they're nowhere to be found. Ultra U watch activated. Look at all these gadgets Ultra hologram, Ultra concentrated sunbeam, Ultra vision headset. Oh, it's so unfair. My U watch is totally lame compared to this thing. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Marty. Someday you'll get a big boy watch. That is, after you've completed several years of exemplary service at the center. What are you talking about? I've done great work for the center. They love me there. I think. <laughs> what happening? Uh, it's a freak sandstorm! If only our problems were so simple. enough today? I have to be sucked underground through a secret trap door thingy. Would you stop whining and look around already? <gasps> cool. Whoa. Awesome. What is this place? This is Alpha Omega, the first and last city on planet Earth. No way. See, I told you there's an Alpha Omega. Uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Martin, uh, this is Diana, and over there's Java. Oh, we're here to find some missing colleagues. Martin! Are you crazy? Uh, don't be afraid, Diana. I'm sure our sophisticated hosts are quite friendly. We have indeed <laughs> seen your colleagues. Not to worry. You'll be reunited soon. Uh, on second thought, maybe friendly isn't the adjective I was looking for. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this doesn't look good. Actually, it looks downright horrifying. But don't worry, I have a plan. Plan? Run! I'm warning you, 
I know martial arts, so unless you want to experience the Martin Mystery Flying Squirrel Kick, you better back off. <laughs> 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 Uh-oh. Hey, Chava, no move! Uh, 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 let go of me! Uh, uh. Your Highness, you have at last returned to us. Huh? Uh, who with the what now? We'll take you to your palace immediately. Uh. Last, but unfortunately, I'm a little busy this afternoon. Later. Ah! Ah! Diana! Martin, help! Hey, I order you to bring her back. Yeah, bring back. It's time to prepare for the Omega. Now take these two surface creatures away for questioning. We must know how they came to find our beloved Una. Uh, uh, oh. Uh. Uh. Look at this place. Very ugly. Yeah, tell me about it. I guess Alpha Omegas aren't big on housekeeping. <coughs> oh, Java Zero move. No like. Oh, reminds me of an amusement park ride. Except this is no fun. Java feel sick. Huh? Oh, Apparently uh, you're not the only one. Can you see anything, Jav? Java see nothing. Maybe I can shed some light on things with my trusty you watch. It's the missing agents from the center. Why they no speak? Maybe because they can't. If this is what taken away for questioning is, I don't want any part of it. We gotta get out of here. Uh, where are we? What do you think you're doing? I demand an explanation. Bunch of rude pasty guys, these Alpha Omegas sure know how to live in style. <sighs> Whoa, it's like looking into a mirror. Gaudy jewelry and all. <laughs> Now, what are the chances that she'd have a birthmark that looked like the hair dye stain on the back of my... Greetings. I am Una, the Lost Queen of the Alpha Omegas. So that's why they called me Your Highness. They think I'm their queen. So what happened, Una? How did you become lost? The Ice Age came. The Alpha Omegas, the first humans on Earth, were forced underground. I stayed behind to find a safe haven for my people. And let me guess, you never returned? Correct, but my people haven't lost faith that I will come back. And when I do, I will lead them to the surface where they will once again rule. Then that can only mean one thing. Now that I'm here, the Alpha Omegas are gonna try and reclaim the Earth. Oh, that is so not good. Okay, Jav, here's the plan. I want you to start making noise, and once those big baldies hear you, they'll come over to investigate. Java, grab them? Uh, no, there's too many of them. Plus, they got this whole appearing-disappearing thing working for them. What we do? See exactly what this baby's made of. Oh, for my tummy's sake, it better work. Surface creatures! Alpha Omegas need quiet! Oh, 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 I said oh, silence! Oh, oh, oh. Take this, Chrome Dome! Concentrated sunbeam selected. Just hoping to temporarily distract the dude. Definitely wasn't expecting a major meltdown. Wait a sec. That's it. These guys are light sensitive. They've lived down here for so long they can't stand the sun. Break out some cool shades. Here come Martin and Java to the rescue. Oh, one problem. How we escape? 
We use this. <sighs> Now, Java, free others. Later. Right now, we've got to find Diana. Subtlety. Oh, lovely to see you too, sis. <laughs> we rescue you. Good thing, because the AOs think I'm their queen. <laughs> You're kidding. Nope. And now that they've found me, they want me to lead them to the surface so they can reclaim planet Earth. That must be what the Omega Ritual's all about. Uh, good thing we found a weakness to these big baldies, huh? Weakness? Uh, they're light sensitive. One blast from this ultra you watch and our guard melted like a marshmallow mm. on an open fire. Ugh. How icky. I'll tell you what's even more icky. If we don't stop these guys from carrying out their plan, Java and I are gonna be lobotomized. You have escaped once, but never a second time. You must be punished for intruding upon our queen. So glad you came when you did. I was scared for my life. Please, take these uh, surface scums away. Surface scums? You will soon come to understand the power of the Alpha Omega. <laughs> Martin, what are we gonna do? Once these guys get you and Java alone, they're gonna turn your brains to mush! That's why you have to stay so strong, D. If the Omega Ritual is completed, these guys will meet the sun and it's gonna be Goo City. It's our only hope. <laughs> the Omega Ritual officially open. Uh, yes, of course. I, Una, Queen of Alpha Omega, uh, declare the Omega Ritual now open! did not melt. Strong constitution? Solid base tan? <laughs> Lucky break? You are not our queen. You are a fraud. You will meet the same fate as your friends. Uh, uh, uh. Now to find Martin and Java. Ultra you watch activated. Ultra vision headset selected. Seems so bad. 
<laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'll get you out of there. Pressing the big red button was way too easy. Okay, everyone, find a buddy. Come on, hurry up. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> oh, the tunnel! That's our ticket out of here. The only problem is, I think the train's about to leave the station. Okay, troops, I know you're a little lacking in the motor skills department, but it's really time to pick up the pace. That's it, up the tunnel, now don't dilly-dally. We don't want to be stuck down here forever. Ah, you'll never leave. Let go of me, creep. You will pay for what you have done. Step off, you big meanie! Martin? <laughs> hey, nice move, Martin. You know, for a zombie guy. Thanks, lady. <laughs> Good thing we keep all of our agents' brain information on backup CD-ROM. <laughs> Especially for someone like Martin. He tends to lose his mind on a regular basis. Hmm. <laughs> Diana, funny. <laughs> yeah, funny. Uh, speaking of things that are lost, I don't suppose the finder's keeper's rule applies. No. We'll return that to its rightful owner. Thank you, Agent Mystery. Don't mention it. So, I wonder what will happen to the Alpha Omega Society. Will they continue to live underground, evolving, waiting for their lost queen? Well, they won't have to wait long. <sighs> Whoa! For a political leader, she's really hot. Mm. The center found her long ago, but never knew where she came from. We'll give her back to the Alpha Omegas if they promise not to abduct any more surface beings and steal their intelligence. And of course, they'll have to give up the whole take back the Earth plan. I love it when everything works out. Well, not exactly. I'm still bald. Have you figured out anything that can help me, Mom? I'm desperate. Yes, I have. Huh? Thank goodness. Here, oh. wear this until your hair grows back. <laughs> <laughs> Whopper! service. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. That was a creature with slimy green limbs and purple veins. Uh -huh. Oh, Martin! You better not be using my phone to call the paranormal hotline again. Uh, I'll call you back. <laughs> okay, everyone. Quiz time. Take out your number two pencils. Uh-oh. Oh, 
I know I had my lucky red number two pencil this morning. <gasps> really, Diana, I expected you of all people to come to class prepared. Get big serving. Oh, you're the best, Java. It's been an awful day so far, but this makes up for it. Hey, watch it! Uh. That's it! I've had it! I'm tired of you taking everything that's mine! Take a chill, sis. It's called borrowing. When you ask. Why would I ask? You'd only say no. That's my point! Di, we're family. What's mine is yours, and what's yours is mine. What makes you think I want anything of yours? Hey, it's not my problem if you don't want to take advantage of a brother who has so many cool things. Uh, the only cool thing you have is your sister. <laughs> Farm mystery, clear. Diana Lombard, clear. Java the Caveman. Clear. Hey guys! Hey Billy! Hey. Is that the Space Dweller XRS? XRS 2000? Oh, sweet! Careful, Billy. Martin's apt to borrow it. No problem. What's mine is yours, Martin. <laughs> 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 what is it? <laughs> oh, Martin okay? He's fine. I created a device to stop you from pawing at all my important center research. Hey, what's mine is yours and what's yours is mine, right? <laughs> what on earth would I possibly want of yours? What is that amazing contraption, Mom? It's a neurological interrupter. Every time Martin wants to handle what doesn't belong to him, I just zap him with a harmless impulse that interrupts his coordination. Jeez, I don't know if his coordination can stand any more interruptions. Now, I need you to go to Antarctica. We've lost all communication with our center outpost there. Antarctica? In the middle of winter? It's always winter there. Uh, just out of curiosity, how far does that little zapper reach? <laughs> now, where's the fun if I tell you? Sorry, team. Seems you'll have to take an alternate form of transportation. This is extreme! How Java is flying! Ah! Wow! I didn't know Mom Zapper reached this far! <laughs> Java. Uh, let's go check it out. <gasps> hmm, strange. There aren't any bears in Antarctica. You're right. That's no bear. That's the abominable <gasps> snowman. <laughs> There's no such thing. Maybe it's the echo of a nearby whale. Go see what it is. Huh? Aw, it's just a husky. Oh, is Martin scared of the itty bitty doggy? Well, it sounded just like the abominable snowman. And I wasn't afraid. The first step to overcoming your fear is admitting it, Martin. Huh. Careful, Di. It looks strange. 
Take it easy. The poor thing's just freezing. There's no telling how long it's been out in the cold. Bring Dog inside. Come on, boy. <laughs> you okay, boy? <laughs> so you can't run off and get stuck outside again. It's not much warmer in here than outside. <laughs> Thief! I know you are. I don't think you get it. I'm in control now. <sighs> Finally, a case that'll go smoothly. <laughs> yeah, well, smooth is my middle name. What's your first name? Not very. Martin Diana! Oh, looks like a blizzard hid inside. Transmission. Let's see what else never reached Mom. Ah, building sound alive. I'm beginning to think it's safer out uh, there. Good, because the agents who are here dug up something in the ice nearby. Let's go. Uh, why do I say these things out loud? Which way? Rope anchor. It probably leads to the dig site, so the agents wouldn't get lost. Come on! Java, uh, check out the ear. What is that? Dreamlock activated. Bioscan selected. No, oh, whatever it is, it's alive. Just barely, but alive. Oh, not anymore. Trust you. Come on, let us in. Here, spit on this petri dish. Why wouldn't you let us in? We almost got attacked. You? 
Marvin. So this is where Mom ended up stationing you. Yeah, thanks to you. Hey, it's not my fault you blew it as an agent. You set me up. I didn't need to. You messed up all on your own. You might think you're better than me at everything, but obviously I'm the better <gasps> agent. That's it! Uh, no fighting. Find Diana. Well, we can't go out while that creature is there. It's okay, Java. As long as the dog's here, we know Diana's safe. What's going on? Why is it so crazy? I'm not gonna tell you. You'll just steal the case and have me relocated somewhere worse. Actually, there is nowhere worse. That's right. And it's all because of you! Stop it! <laughs> and you're complaining about being stuck here? Huh? We excavated a woolly mammoth, and some strange organism was released. It uses us as its hosts. Chloe's the one who ripped the lab apart, until the organism shifted to me. Then he destroyed our transmitter before I could call for help. At first, it took a long time to know who was infected, but each transformation happens faster and faster. It's as if the organism is gaining strength with every host. There must be something in our bodies that it needs. Well, it's in the dog, so all we have to do is avoid the dog. That's what we were doing until you came along and let the dog back in. Well, it's out now. Yeah, because I got it out. And sent it after us. <laughs> stay here and watch the door. We'll go check it out. No, you stay here and watch the door, and we'll go check it out. <sighs> I'm staying here. Java, too. You go. <sighs> Java! Martin! Where are you? Like this? Not until you got here and let the organism back in. Well, maybe if you didn't hide from us, we would have known. I didn't know if you were infected. <laughs> Here's the culprit. That's not the culprit, that's the result. Something put it there. <sighs> Diana! Hey. Don't! How do you know she isn't the host? She's acting strange. She's <sighs> just freezing. She'd have her sights on someone else right now. No Java! There's no telling if this organism can split and take on two hosts. Ah. Run! Until we can figure out how to stop this thing!
who's infected. Do I look infected? Uh, I guess no more than usual. If neither of you are the host. Where, Marvin? Get back! Uh, one thing's for sure, I like the old Marvin better. It's living even longer without a host. That's why it keeps switching. It must store our energy so it can eventually survive without a host. strength because it's cold-blooded. You're right. It was hibernating in the woolly mammoth all those years because it can't survive in this cold without a host. Actually, Marvin was really the brains of the solution with the vacuum pump idea. Hmm. Maybe Antarctica is a little harsh for Marvin after all. How do you feel about Hawaii? Stoked! <laughs> You're all right. Hey, doing something nice for someone else for a change. Not bad, Martin. See? We're not so different, Doc. Uh, well, let's not get carried away. you get that? It seems Martin isn't the only one who borrows things that aren't his. <laughs> 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 